afternoon. We have great weather for our Return of the Titans event this afternoon that will start immediately after school where we will have exhibition inter-squad scrimmages of all of our football teams. So come out and enjoy the fun and support our Titans. On Tuesday, September 19th, we have a half day for students and it's a planning day for our teachers. So students will be dismissed at 1230. On Wednesday, we have a parent breakfast sponsored by the PTA that is in the Old City at 10 a.m. And on Thursday, September 21st, we have an MYP Parents Morning from 9 to 10. I want to share a little bit about our upcoming CIS and IB visit. Next Sunday, September 24th, we will welcome 13 visitors from the IBO, the International Baccalaureate Organization, and CIS, the Council of International Schools, for their week-long visit to TISA. Every five years, all IB schools go through an evaluation process that includes a self-study by the school and a final visit by the IB evaluation team. Their purpose is to ensure that our mission at TISA aligns with the IB mission and philosophy, and that we are meeting all of the guidelines required by the IB. Similarly, the Council of International Schools, or CIS, our accrediting agency, also requires schools to go through this process every five years. The process includes a year-long extensive self-study and submission of evidence from all aspects of the school, a preparatory visit that occurred in 2022, and now the final visit that's coming next week. Their purpose is to verify how the evidence that we submitted matches up to what happens every day here at TISA, and they provide us feedback on how our school is doing in comparison to the international standards set forward by CIS. In alignment with the self-studies that we completed, we also completed our current strategic plan in the spring of 2022, which, is, which was developed collaboratively with parents, students, and staff members. Our strategic plan guides much of our school improvement work, and we're excited to share all of this work with the visiting team when they arrive. Our staff members have worked very hard to prepare for this visit over the past year and have curated a lot of evidence for the evaluation team. Both the CIS and IB teams will be meeting with small groups of teachers, staff members, students, parents, board members, and, and administrators. For each meeting, the IB and CIS ask the school to invite representatives of various groups. They're seeking a diverse mix of people from different backgrounds, different experience levels, and different areas of interest and expertise so they can get a fair picture of our entire TISA community. That doesn't mean that you don't get a voice. All parents' voices are represented in the IBCIS visit through our survey that we completed uh, through CIS. We do this survey every year, which is above and beyond the expectations from CIS. And that survey is then analyzed and we are providing that information to CIS and IB so that we are confident that all voices are heard within the CIS and IB visit. A few months after the visit, TISA will receive reports from both the CIS and IB commending our areas of excellence and identifying areas for growth. We look forward to that feedback and anticipate that it will, it will align with our strategic plan and the areas of growth that we've already identified. As always, if you have any questions about the upcoming CIS and IB visit, please reach out. Thank you and have a great weekend.